guys, it's Bernice. So today I want to share with you the Red Carpet Gel Polish Essential Starter Kit. I bought this at Ulta and it was $49.99. It includes all these things. This is what you get in this. This is the instructions. I've been wearing press-on nails for about three years and I'm getting tired of them and my nails are as well. I'm using press-ons in this three because they are really bad and ugly. I try something new. This is where the light comes in. It's pretty light. I'm not crazy about the color of it, but not a big issue. Comes with this ones. Purify. Oh, this is a clean. Structure, base coat, prep. This is a primer. This is a top coat. And I thought from looking at this that it came with a red, which I don't like red. And that's why I bought this one at Ulta. And it was $8.99 or $9.99, I can't remember. When I bought this at Ulta, they didn't tell me this, which is kind of like essential, I think. The plug can be purchased separate. You got this, which is a USB, but you need to plug it. Thankfully, I think I got one. They could have told me about this because if you don't have a plug, there's no way I can use it. The box where it says that comes inside of this and you can't open this one. I tried to open this, I asked the girl and she told me that I couldn't. The one that I have is this one. I have to do 45 seconds of each. Uh, this is just to work on the cuticle and stuff. These ones are just to use with this one. So after this, apply the base coat. Clean the cuticle and the edges if you need to. Put it in here. Then use a nail polish. Put it in here. Repeat a second coat. Then apply the top coat. The whole thing again. Apply my base coat. It feels weird when you put it in the lamp. Burns, but not really. It's really hard to explain. It doesn't feel bad. It just like, it feels like it's doing something. So I'm just gonna be using this one now. It looks like this, it's kind of oily. It says in here to use a thin coat of this one. And this way they tell you to apply a second coat. And they smell like proper nail salon. 45 seconds. What this looks like, well, there we go. I've been using this for 21 days. My nails have grown a lot. They feel stronger than ever. I'm ready to say goodbye to uh, prison nails. My nails were really damaged. I'm a happy camper, however. So this one, there's a growth that looks clean. And this one looks clean as well. However, I did apply a lot of like base coat and top coat in this area and really nothing on here. So it looks a bit uneven and too much in here. These two are funny and they are driving crazy because my hair gets stuck in here all the time. So this one was my first time like ever. What I did here is applied way too much base coat and top coat. So if you apply way too much, it's going to be all over your cuticles. When your nails grow, you have like some peeling in there. So this is what they look like without any nail polish on. As you can see, these are pretty much ready to go. I just can't. To me, it's pretty cool to see this growth in here because I'm a really anxious person, I guess. So when I see something that is peeling off, I just help it. I don't wait for it to fall. So when I have pressed on nails, I remove the whole thing. I didn't wait for this gap right here. So the fact that I have here and it's my natural nails is pretty cool to me. This sounds so weird, I know. So to remove this, we just have to uh, break the first like coat of this with a nail file. They sell foil with some like attached cabins. I'm not going to buy that, I'm just going to be cheap and just save some money, I guess. And I'm just gonna cut it in four pieces. You don't need that much, unless you have like new long nails. And then just putting some like alcohol in it. Putting this here. And maybe in the future I'm just going to buy those because maybe they are easier to apply or whatever but for now I'm just doing this. I'm just going to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes. It just looks so funny. I look like an alien. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes and I loosened my bed because they were too tight. And on the book it says to do it like this. I just want to remove this like so. It's coming right up. So I'm just going to be working with one at a time because I feel like the uh, alcohol stays fresh like that. Then I'm going to gently buff the surface of this. If you want to arrange your nails, like cut them, make them any shape, this is one, I think. After that, I'm just going to be adding some cuticle oil. 
to treat them just before I go on and apply my next manicure. This is the longest my nails have ever been. They should break way before this. I mean, they are not pretty at all. They are in not good conditions still, but they are getting there. Press on nails for about two or three years, and this is damaging to them, as you can see right here. So if you're looking for something that will help your nails grow faster and you want to save some money, just invest in a kit. What I did was this, just remove the basic stuff and there's a lot like in the, that part of the brush. I went too far and I was touching as close as I could. So I'm just going to remove this by using this one. First I'm going to be pushing my cuticles as much as I can. I'm now going to be using my primer which is going to help my base coat and everything else adhere to my nails. Here comes the base coat. So I'm just going to remove as much excess as I can and just work with a thin layer. It's kind of like thick consistency this one. And I'm just going to leave a gap in between my cuticle and the more you practice, the better and the prettier your manicure is going to be. As far as smells go, this doesn't really smell like it's too strong. So I have my lamp here for 45 seconds and actually the light uh, turns off when it's time. I'm going to be using Cozy is the new chic. This one has that kind of smell. So right before my cuticle. That's a lot of excess. So you just have to remove this. So this is a pretty neutral color. But if you are working with a red or black or anything that is super pigmented, you're gonna be having to be more precise because for me I think it looks messy when it's all over the place. Again, the top coat, remove as much excess as you can. And again, be really careful with the cuticles. Apply a thin layer and cover the edges. And with the top coat, it's funny because you feel like it's doing something. Here's where you can kind of see how well you did with those layers. My pinky is a mess. I need to fix that. So because this is going to be tacky after, you're just going to take a wipe and pretty much just remove the tackiness of it. Now I can touch them. This one I went way too far, but just don't worry, you can do this. Clean everything, oil in there, massage it, and there you go. So you can get an idea of how thick they are as opposed to press -ons. I think it's a good starter kit. I wish they could just let you know from the outside about the charger thing, but other than that, I really recommend this kit. My nails look really pretty. I actually have a question for you guys. This top coat, it's fine. It has helped my nails grow, but I'm looking for something that will make them even stronger or even harder. So if you know of anything that I can get from Ulta, Sally, or even online, let me know down below. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you. Don't forget to check out more nail care reviews that I have on my channel and subscribe for more this was a long one and i really appreciate it so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye